Hey guys, welcome back to the channel DZ Can Toys here with another toy review. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, I do toy reviews on some of my favorite figures. I do apologize in advance for the lack of content recently as I've been quite busy in my life and unfortunately I do like doing reviews but this channel is more of a hobby and not my main job so I do hope you guys understand. Anyways here we do have the newly released Figma 502 MASH Orthanac suit version to open and show you guys. So while we take a 360 view of the box, a little bit of a background on the character MASH in the Ortonac suit is that in part 2 of the Fate Grand Order story, something happened which she lost her powers, which is the heroic spirit Galahad. Hence, she lost some of her magical powers, therefore she no longer has the original armor. This means that in order to fight, she had to have a new suit. So she did, with this more mechanized version of the Ortonac suit. And this version of the suit, as we've seen over here, is much more bulkier, which makes sense because she no longer have magic to protect herself now, which is quite funny when you think about it. Anyways, enough of that. If you want to know more about the story of Fate Grand Order, there's a lot of content online for you to do research about. So let's get the unboxing started because that's what you guys are here for. All right, here we have our Figma MASH 502 Ortonac suit unboxed. So let's go over the aesthetics and paint job of the figure first. Starting from the top, we do have MASH's signature hair color, which is pink. Is it me or it seems like her hair is more pink in the anime and the games? Anyways, over here we have a lighter tone for the hair. I guess it seems more realistic this way. We do have some nice details throughout the hair sculpt. Moving to the face. Figma has always done a good job in terms of an anime style face and here for MASH it is no different. We do have the matching eye color for MASH over here when comparing to the hair. In terms of the upper portions of the body, we also have the armored suit Ortonax over here. It's a really cool design in my opinion. Overall, she seems much more bulkier than her original outfit when she had the spiritual powers of Galahad. In terms of this suit, we do have some nice details. Although it is mainly black, we can see some sort of white dots on the chest and also the neck collar. We do have some hidden color of a light purple or a dark blue color around the neck as well. In addition, the white dots are supposed to be lights for this mechanical suit in the games and anime. But obviously here, they're just done in a white color tone. As for the lower portion of the body, we do have the waist done in the armor style as well. We can see the white dots on the side armors or the skirt armors. Of course, they represent the lights of the suit. We do have this extra pouch design as well on the waist armor, which adds some extra bulkiness to the overall design, which this suit is definitely going for. Other than that, moving down to the leg armors, they're also very bulky all the way down to the heels. So MASH over here seems like she is wearing some sort of a mechanized heel and I tried to balance her without the stand. It is possible but for sure it is hard to balance compared to the usual MASH with normal feet. Overall then in terms of the aesthetics paint job, I would say this is definitely Figma quality which is a good thing. There's nothing really over the top here as we only have a monotone color for the overall design but it does get the job done. Before we move on to the accessory section, here's a quick look at the back of the figure. And of course, the only exposed part of MASH's body is the thighs, like her original Galahad armor. So I would say DW or Fate knows its audience. We have to have some exposed parts for MASH here as well. Now let's move on to the accessories. So MASH over here actually have this huge accessory, which is her signature weapon, the shield. As seen here, it does have a similar design pattern compared to her original shield, but it is definitely much more bulkier as losing her spiritual power of Galahad, MASH now needs more help and protection because she no longer has magical powers, I guess. So it makes sense for the shield to be bigger and bulkier and I do like the more mechanicalized design of this shield. We do have the same inscription over here in the middle of the shield, 
we have the similar round design, but we do have a more wider angle and a more rectangular shapes all over the shield. Here's a quick look at the back of the shield. So the part of here, which she can hold with her hands or the middle, it seems exactly the same as her old shield design. But the outer parts, obviously because the shield is wider, there is some slight differences. But overall, I have to say this shield looks quite good. It kind of gives me the idea or feeling that it is something familiar, but yet it feels new. Now, while we're on topic of this shield accessory, we do have this extra stand over here, which we have a movable peg here that we can plug at the bottom of the shield. Because the shield is so big, we obviously have weight problems. So it's really nice of them to give us the stand. This way, no matter how you want to mash to hold the shield, the stand can hold the weight and distribute the shield weight no problem, as seen here. In addition, we also get the spiked piece over here. So this is supposed to be an accessory for the bottom of the shield, but once you use this accessory, it plugs in at the same peg hole as the shield stand, and it looks something like this. This is supposed to be Mash's weaponized shield. When we plug in the spike at the bottom of the shield, this means that we no longer can use the stand. In the games, what happened is Mash, when she uses her Noble Phantasm, she actually needs to stabilize her shield. I guess, again, she no longer has magical powers, so she relies on this spike to then jab into the ground, which keeps the shield stable. So I don't really see much use for this part over here in terms of the Figma form, because mostly we'll just put it on the Figma shield stand itself, as it is better in terms of posing. But it is nice that they included this, so I guess for those of you guys who are more creative, you can imagine this as a spike weapon at the end of the shield since it's supposed to pop out. Now let's look at the other accessories. So we do have three faceplate included in this Figma. The first one is the one that we see over here, which is just the normal standard facial expression. Next up, we have a smiling face with the eyes closed. It looks quite cute. Lastly, we have this one, which is more for a battle type face. We have the mouth open and with her staring towards the other side. We do have an extra hair piece over here, which we have the Ortonax battle suit battle goggles molded into the hair piece itself. So this piece, we will swap with the normal hair piece over here. Once we swap out for the goggle hair piece, this is what she looks like. With the goggles, I would say it has a very unique look for MASH. And definitely the Ortonax suit makes MASH look like she's armored up fully and ready to battle. Here's a quick side look at the goggle hairpiece. In case you're wondering, yes, you can use any of the faceplate included with this goggle hairpiece. As for the final accessories, we do have swappable hands. Besides the two closed fists, we have some extra hand, which is two holding hands and two open palms. And all of them have the nice design of the round light painted in white on the back of the hands. We also have our good old trusty Figma accessories bag, which is included in all the modern Figmas. And of course, the Figma stand over here, which I've been using all this time already. We also have an extra wrist peg for those of you guys who own Figmas would be familiar with. Now let's quickly go over the articulation for the head. We can look back about this far looking down, which is way better. Of course, the rotation, 360, side to side. And the arms, we don't have any shoulder armors, so it is quite good all the way to the, towards the side. The elbow bend and the wrist, we have the Figma wrist, so 360 plus side to side wiggle. Upper waist, we do have a front and back, side to side. Lower waist, side to side, front and back. The side armors for the skirts does move, so you can move them around a bit just like that. Thigh rotation. Also, if you move the side armor out of the way, you can lift the legs all the way up like that. And the knee bend is actually quite good. Finally, for the heels, we do have a side to side, a little bit front and back. So overall, although the design for mash over here is quite bulky, I feel like the articulation is still decent. 
but there are some setbacks, of course, in terms of the bulkier design for the legs. That is, without the stand, it is harder to balance her for sure. Now for some size comparisons, here we have the original MASH with the Galahad armor. So in terms of height, I guess the new MASH with the Ortonax is a bit taller as she's wearing these mechanized heel. Also the faceplate is indeed interchangeable, but for the hair sculpt itself, it seems like our original MASH hair color is more pink, more colorful than our new one, which is more of a pale color. So the hair color does not match while the faceplate is interchangeable. Here we have a Super Saiyan SHV Guards Goku. Here is our Caldea Master, which matches her very well. Here's the Mayfex John Wick. Alright, final thoughts on today's Figma review, which is the 502 Shielder Mash Kirilite Ortonax version. The good thing is that, of course, the Ortonax suit looks extremely cool. I mean, just look at the shield. It is so bulky and eye-catching. It will definitely catch somebody's attention on the display shelf. Also, in terms of the battle suit itself for Mash, it is quite unique. It is actually quite refreshing to see Mash in an outfit that is much more bulked up and armored up in terms of the original outfit, which is much less clothing, but had magical powers. So it didn't matter if she was attacked because magic. Now that she lost her magic powers, I guess she does need more armor to sustain her fighting style. Anyways, a bit off topic there. Another good thing about this mash is that we can swap the face sculpt with the older mash. Now in terms of the negatives, I do have a few things I want to mention. The first thing is that although this big piece of shield looks quite menacing and good, it is just a piece of plastic. When you look at this shield, you will feel like there should be some movable parts in here. That would make it actually much more cooler. So you really feel like there aren't too many accessories. Although when looking at the Figma initially, you feel like there's a lot of accessories when you see a shield like this. Other than that, similarly with the hand accessories, we only have six hands and that's three pairs of hand for this Figma, which is much less compared to our usual Figma numbers in terms of the swappable hands. I guess they wanted to save on cost. And the faceplate as well, we only have three. Also in terms of the goggles for the swappable hairpiece, I just felt like it is kind of a lost opportunity because a lot of times in the games we would see MASH with the goggles sliding upwards on the top of the head. So I do wish there is another hairpiece which the goggles on which the goggles is on the top of the hair and we can see the full face of MASH. Because this way we can only have her either wear the goggles or not wear the goggles. We can't have that natural looking faceplate where we can keep the goggles on top of the head if you guys get what I mean. I guess I'm just kind of nitpicking a little bit because in terms of this mash, I expected a bit more in terms of accessories. In the end though, would I recommend this Figma? If you're a mash fan, for sure, it's definitely worth getting this Figma because it does look quite cool and it is the only movable version of mash in the Ortonax suit. So in that aspect, it is still worth getting, but I do wish that it came with a bit more accessories. Anyways, there goes the end of today's review. If you guys enjoyed the review, please remember to support the channel by liking, subscribing, turn on that bell notification. As always, my friends, remember to stay young at heart. Until next time, we're out.